So this question is a diagram question. Really, I call any question that provides some visual input a diagram question. Obviously, what we have here is a trapezoid. Our top base is 10. Our bottom base is 26. Our height is 6. Uh, we have all these vertices here, A, B, C, and D. The question says, in the figure shown, B, C is parallel to A, D. Okay, so I'll make my marks for that. And A, B equals C, D. So that's good to know. That means we have actually an isosceles trapezoid. Right, so just write that down here. So if you think about what an isosceles triangle is, then I always like to say, hey, an isosceles trapezoid is basically an isosceles triangle where you have two sides equal and two angles equal, but then you just cut off the head, right? So we like chop it there and, you know, cut off that head basically. So we're left with a trapezoid, but everything else still remains the same. So we know that these two angles down here, angle A and angle D, have to be equal to each other. So the rest of the question says, what is the perimeter of quadrilateral A, B, C, D? All right, so then let's see. Let's see. So I can, I can draw a line down here, which I know has a height of 6. And I can draw a line down here, which I also know has a height of 6. And then that means the space between those red lines that I drew have to match up with this here. So I know that's 10. But I know that X, which means that it's going to be evenly distributed to the left and right. So I'd have, um, how much more do I have? 13, or no, I'm sorry, 16. So I'd have 8 here and another 8 there, right? So my 26 for my distance between A and D has turned into 8, 10, and 8. So still 26, just broken up into 8, 10, and 8. So now I have a right triangle where the height is 6, the base is 8. The question is asking for the perimeter. So I all I really need to know is this hypotenuse, and I'm pretty much finished with this question. And I always check to see if right triangles are three, four, five right triangles because they show up so often on the SAT. And this one, in fact, is. Six is the same as three times two. Eight is the same as four times two, which means the hypotenuse should be five times two, which, of course, is equal to 10. So if A, B is 10, then CD is also 10 because it's an isosceles trapezoid. They're equal to each other, and we were told that in the question. So now let me just erase things and get some clarity on all of what we know. So in terms of finding the perimeter, I know that this is 10, so I have 10. I know this is 10, so plus 10. I know this is 10, so plus another 10, so we're at 30. And then I know this whole bottom is 26, so plus 26. So all this is 30 plus 26 is equal to 56.